The name of the piece is The Unfound Door, and of course that's drawn from Thomas Wolfe's uh, prose poem that opens the homeward angel, the, the stone, the leaf, the unfound door, and of all the forgotten faces. This is the meaning not only of the title of the piece, but I think the meaning of the underlying um, scenario that's expressed by all three of the artists that are involved in the project. It's great for a theatrical lighting designer to work in this kind of a situation because normally we are interpretive artists uh, and that is the excitement. It, it, I'm not interpreting necessarily someone else's art. Uh, I am lighting the, the space to create a mood uh, which follows the theme of our total installation. I love color and texture, and I love architecture. So the combination has been just exciting for me to get to work with these two men. Now Charles, I don't know. I think maybe on that particular camera, that's maybe what you want since everything else is so. Hold on. L tell me what happens when I do this. This is obviously a joint project. Okay. I think you need that contrast. Uh huh. That's what I thought. But it's one in which the artists have gone their own way in trying to carry out, I suppose, the search that uh, Thomas Wolfe was carrying out. Having the wolf quote, you know, I had the stone and the leaf and the unfound door, those images were all there, but I had to unify them to make sense out of them. We discussed the fact that this needed to be truly utilitarian in its touring capabilities uh, so that it can go into a space very quickly, be set up very quickly. Uh, it can be shipped completely uh, by way of UPS. And also, in the end, will fit into a space of uh, reasonable proportions. This is the first piece that I've ever done for uh, the electronic medium in which I've allowed the uh, computer to do its own creative thing. In a certain sense, I've built into the programs that are used algorithms which are the equivalent of a composer. I've given birth to a composer within the, uh, the computer who then writes my music for me. That is my expression, just almost as if it were a student of mine. The parameters that control the musical expression are very tight, and it's intended to underscore 
the work of my two colleagues here, as I think their work articulates some of the ideas that I expressed in a musical sense. We were dealing with, after all, the same scenario. One of the things that we wanted to see happen was that the lighting and the sound composition be completely and totally meshed. My instruments are, I see them more as uh, tiny musical instruments playing the score. I feed the musical score into his dimmers, and so the, the light score uh, is the same rhythmically as the musical score. In a way, releasing total control of my lighting to the score has been, has been great. In giving up the total control, it's amazing that what has happened is I've gotten exactly what I've always tried to do myself. I normally use a lot more color. And since I've been working with Jack, I've got a lot more neutral colors. But when he puts the lights on, we tend to agree. Wave to me. Although we were creating a vehicle for intelligent adults, it still is universal enough that it carries over also to very young children. And uh, that's always good to see. You can't read the stone, the leaf, the unfound door, and all the forgotten faces, and the rest of that poem, or the rest of the, that novel, without feeling how dark, how challenging, and how threatening it is. But that's what art is supposed to address, and uh, coming to terms with that is what I think all of us as artists are trying to do as we make our art.